Hello everybody, this is Jordan from Rinko Rents. Today I'm going to show you just a very quick demonstration on how to get the data off of your PsyApps uh, X550 XRF. So here's our XRF here. And uh, when you power it up, this is going to be the main screen that you see. Uh, your unit should be labeled with a password. So it's always going to be admin is the login. 12345 is your password. So we'll just type that in here, get into the unit, and we're ready to go. So uh, at this point, we're going to assume you've already uh, conducted all your tests. So everything's on here. So if we go into the results section, we can see all these measurements here, right? So they're all on the instrument, but uh, what we need to do here is get them exported into a format so that we can get those off the instrument. And uh, there's two options. There's no software required, so that's the good thing. No software needed. Um, you're going to have an option for Excel or PDF. So once we get to this results screen, uh, the easiest thing to do if we're just going to export all of them. So there's a little three three dot menu button there in the top right corner. So if you click that, you know, you do have the option to filter so you can uh, export these separately if you'd like to, but the easiest way is going to be to export all results. So once we select that, uh, we're going to choose SD card. And this is where you get the choice. You can do either PDF or Excel. So the PDF will be a nice little PDF report. Um, the Excel is going to be more comprehensive. Um, you know, more people, I feel like, just like to use Excel because of how you can work with it. So we're going to do the Excel. The process isn't any different um, from this point. You either just choose Excel or PDF. And we're going to choose where that gets written. This is just the default location, so you really shouldn't need to change that uh, unless you are uh, creating a new file. So we can overwrite an existing file here. Maybe it's just an old file um, that you don't need. Otherwise, you're going to need to adjust that so that you don't overwrite existing data that you need. So once we have that covered, then you're just going to choose your template. So depending on which unit you have and um, what these results are, you're going to choose the correct template. And this model is only capable of uh, lead paint. It only has that lead paint app. So we just have the one template. So once you select your template and where the file is getting saved to, you're going to hit start export. So we have 1500 tests that are being exported into an Excel file. Well, 1570, but won't take too long. And while that's exporting, I'll just show you on the bottom of the unit here, underneath the screen, this is where the USB port is. So you might see a dust cover on there like this one. You can just pull that off. And then we'll plug in our USB. Probably wait until this is done. So we are just about done here. There we go. Results have been successfully exported. All right, and I will plug in my USB here. I believe it goes. These ones are a bit finicky, but I think I gotta flip it here. There we go. All right, so we're plugged in. Okay, so now we just need to navigate to the XRF. So as you can see, here's my computer. Uh, there's a number of things here. This is a removable storage device, the NGX. That is my PsyApps XRF. So here's the SD card that we saved it to. Now, this is important. You can see several folders on here. I do want everyone to know pretty much none of these folders should be touched. Um, if you do mess with these, it can cause problems with the functionality of the equipment. So the only folder that we are going to touch here is the export folder. So that's where our data gets exported. 
And if you do a PDF, you'll see uh, a folder labeled PDF in here. That's where your PDF reports will be. Otherwise, if we export to Excel, that's gonna be a CSV file. And if we open that up, there's all of our data right here. Now you might see something like this in Excel. Uh, if you can see the dates are all uh, just number signs, pound signs. Uh, we can just expand these fields out. And now we have all of our dated timestamps, um, lots of different results here. So uh, we have all of our data in Excel and that is the process. It's pretty simple. The main thing is just to export the data from the unit uh, into either Excel or PDF. And then once you've done that, uh, you can plug it into your computer and just find the correct folder uh, on the XRF. And again, the important thing is just this export folder. All the data that you need will be in that export folder. Please do not make any changes to the other folders. And that is it. Thanks for watching.